and I just didn't understand like how much of an influence he had like in that music culture yeah. stuff. Uh, do you know um, just for context, like, do you know who uh, do you know that song by uh, what's her name? That that Shakira song, uh, "Hips Don't Lie." Yeah. There's like a part in that song that's like, Vaya la calle, e noche vaya la calle. And oh, that, that part was about? actually, yeah, that was, that original song was by Luis Diaz. And oh, uh, he actually sued them because they didn't ask for permission to use it. <laughs> so uh, they got, they got like a, sh like, you remember how popular that song was. Like they got royalties for that song. That's good. And, like every time it played, it was crazy. It's a national uh, export. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, <laughs> the hips it was not crazy. lying. <laughs> Yeah, my my it wasn't my dad, oh. but it was it was a, a, a good friend of my dad's. But uh, anyways, to the melee. Um, I feel like, you know, we started off in the winter semi side. We started off on this stage as well, and it felt like there was a lot of wacky stuff going on. And I feel like the first stock also had a lot of wacky shenanigans off stage with Randall and a B stuff and just like weird interactions and stuff. So um. Uh, honestly, definitely, uh, to, uh, definitely glad that they start on this stage because it makes for an entertaining show for sure. With all the wackiness that goes on. I like Yoshi's quite a bit in general. I, yeah, I, 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 I'm a big fan of this stage as well. But, uh, Aklo off to a solid lead. Ooh, but here comes Crudo right back. Oh, man. Oh, but caught him without a jump. Arguably an even better option right there, because fared him without a jump, and they were just off stage. Yeah, Crudo's punish game is so filthy, man. And it just has been for the entire bracket. And what's cr even crazier about that is that, like, we saw it... I don't know if you saw any of, like, the Crudo H-Box set, but that the punish game on there was also pretty nasty. And just, like, the overall, like, you I know... That drop zone there. And stuff. Yeah, that drop zone there was great. So, uh, Crudo with a solid lead. This is looking, uh, strangely similar to the winner side set. Yeah. Crudo already but, been uh, here for four, up 2-0 in the winner side set. Kind of glad it came back down to a rematch here. Cause both players yeah, absolutely. It definitely seems like either one can, uh, take this set, but, uh... It really feels like these are the three players that are playing best in this tournament. Just from everything and all the sets that I've seen, even players playing against different players, it truly feels like these are the three players that are just playing the best overall. Oh, absolutely, yeah. and I, I think it, it's no uh, it's no surprise that the three players that are playing the best are definitely in top three right now. Wow, that was such a quick that that quit out was so quick. I'm not even positive that it killed. I'm pretty sure it probably did. No, it did. Every sheik yeah, yeah, in the yeah, world yeah, yeah. is yeah. No, uh, yeah, that's that's like that feeling of who, who remembers like the plup the sad plup stocks at summit like on pokemon oh, yeah. stadium it gets like windmilled by like mango like just like or what was it that was at ceo or... i remember that yeah there's one at summit it's happened multiple times to plop uh with the windmill thing specifically too on stadium transformation i, I remember it the... happened at summit one million percent no questions in my mind i have one so egregious it was like 90 percent to zero and it was just like a 50 percent combo that ended with like up throw up air on windmill or something it was so sad yeah. Is it me or you never see the Sheik mains SDI the up air? Um, they they do. It's just SDIing the up air with Sheik is extremely harder than it is for most characters due to how heavy she is. Because she falls back into the second hit a lot quicker than a character like Pikachu or Puff would. Um, see, so they, yeah, they try to. It's just it genuinely is more difficult. And for similar reasons, though, that's why you see Sheik's hit arms attack so much. I see. Because they like they they get to the ground quicker. I see. Yeah, I was I was. I, I was actually interested because, like, I do feel like I see Sheik's opposite tech, like, uh, SDI out of the up air a lot less, and I, I wasn't sure about why, why it would be, like, harder. But I guess, like, being, I mean, Sheik's, like, she's a pretty fast faller, like, all things considered, you know? She, I wouldn't, most people like, wouldn't consider her a fast faller, but, like, she falls, like, pretty I she, quickly. I think she's, like, Fifth one of the, I was gonna say she's top. Yeah, she's in like top five fall speeds. Like if you get rid of Spacey's and Falcon, I think it's like her and Martha next. Yeah, well, Martha's like pretty close. They're the, like they're the suit. Yeah, they're like she. Sheik is on the um the fast. I mean the 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 heavy mid like mid fall speed or the fast mid fall speed, and then I would say Martha's on the slower mid fall speed. Yeah. Low key. Yeah, I'd agree. 
Crudo's needles have been yeah so innovative, I would say. They're not like necessarily like the opponent is biting all the time, but I mean you're you're doing them against players like Aklo, so it's just like you're not gonna get as much as often for those things, but they're definitely, uh, like I mentioned earlier, the needle into quick down smash, trying to get a poke or catch a roll, really good. Yeah. And, uh, uh I, I might talk about it later, but, uh, ooh, that was an incredible, like, just the quickest ramen noodles. That was crazy, wow. Took that leg so fast, just stole it from Crudo, and wow, that was, that felt like a really quick game. DK and Bowser are heavy, but they don't fall faster. Yes. They're heavier, but they don't fall faster. Those are two different, um, like, values. Yeah, fall speed and, 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 uh, and uh, weight are two different, like, sliders. Yeah. It's, it's also, fall speed is, like, a lot more, uh, like, fall speed depends a lot more on, like, you know, uh, dying off the top than, like, than uh, weight does, actually. Which yeah. is kind of messed up, but whatever. <laughs> Yeah, like, I mean, like, it's, way it definitely is almost just like inherent DI in a way. It's like just in, <laughs> if that if in a weird way to put it, it's like if you're falling faster, think of it as you like immediately DIing better down for like things off the top, for example. Yeah. Which is why it would make more of a difference than just being heavy, because ultimately a lot of a lot of it is trajectory and momentum and stuff. So anything in this game to slow your momentum is what really nets you the big buck. Right, exactly. It's like the reason why Falcon can survive like like fox like up smash or something really long like longer than like bowser can exactly it's because yeah. he's heavy and he's a fast faller yeah those two things combined they definitely are like Ooh, that drop so near tree. incredible yeah, yeah that there. drop so near uh beat out the the shine stall then like he, he even held the shine stall for even longer and that nair just like going all the way down just having that active hitbox really really just killed it yeah, the shine stall kind of beats out the instant bear, and then the nair beats out the shine stall, and, and then yeah. there's, we're gonna get back to square one again. But it's gonna be mix. -up. It's like you're level eight of the mix-ups, but you're back to mix-up number one. <laughs> yeah, heavier things don't fall faster IRL either. I'm pretty sure everything. That's true. Oh, actually, yeah, every, that is actually different... true. Yeah. Yeah, every different thing based off density. It all depends on like you know awesome. air. Air. It's really about density. Or... It's about density more than yes. anything. Yes. In any case, um, yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely drop an ant in... off a building. It'll yeah. be fine. No, don't do that. Anyway, Said every uh... third grade teacher. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, so this matchup, or like this this uh, set, is definitely going a lot more in Aklo's favor than the winner side did. Because right now, this is a solid 2-0 lead and also a game lead. You know, like they, like it's a lead in the game and also like you know. Aglo do what crud don't. Yes. <laughs> it looks like it looks like Aglo might get that three zero. Yeah, do what crud do. Yeah, yeah, looking like. Yeah, I see.